following the death of four people on a recreational boat which caught fire on Saturday afternoon, three passengers drowned and another died of smoke inhalation while celebrating their year-end function on the Artepias Port Dam. The owner of the company, Nico Vessels, spoke to Eyewitness News to share what really happened on the boat, which was ferrying 200 passengers at the time of the incident. When this uh, fire occurred, what I'd, first thing I did is turn uh, the boat straight into the wind so we can detain the fire towards the back of the boat and got everybody from the top of the boat, the people that were on top downstairs, uh, to the front of the boat away from the fire, away from all danger and um, obviously made sure everybody gets their life jackets on. And um, we did the firefighting drill as, as we are, all my uh, staff and so on are trained to do. We, um, all the general public came and really helped a lot. Um, I can't say everybody is heroes out there. Everybody were handing extra fire extinguishers. Not that we hadn't enough. I don't think you can ever have enough fire extinguishers when there's a fire. If I had 100 fire extinguishers, I would empty them all. Nico further clarified what led to the four deaths which occurred during the frantic panic. I understand there's an emergency situation, people panicked. And, you know, as, as it shows, the, the lady that passed away in the toilets ran away from the fire into the toilet thinking she would be safe and inhaled smoke. That's how she uh, passed. Um, nobody, everybody left the boat alive uh, and with life jackets. And unfortunately, they overloaded speedboats that came and helped on the side. We asked the people to stay on a boat, but people were leaving in any case. Uh, being an emergency agent, one do understand that. And, um, and as general public are, everybody is out there to look after each other and help each other. And people just came and helped. and. Uh, and overloaded their boats, so we had two boats that capsized. Um, two ladies passed on one boat, and um, when they got you know, to the side, they realized the people were trapped underneath because they towed the boat upside down to the side. And um, the other boat capsized also inside the water. Uh, we had one lady that was brought to us, and we tried to do CPR on her. Uh, I got my staff members on the side as well to, um, to, to treat her as well as we could. For, to resuscitate for 20 minutes until the, the paramedics and so on uh, arrived and uh, took over from there. The cause of the fire is still unknown and no food was actually prepared on the boat. We don't have any gas appliances, okay, and we don't um, prepare any food on the boat, but be salads and that kind of thing that gets done on the boat and that gets done fresh and uh, meat and so on would be uh, prepared before the time. and. Um, it's, one, one do use bameries to, uh, to warm the food. And in this case, an uh, event company that booked the boat brought in their own uh, staff to do so. And um, what really happened in the kitchen, we, we don't know. The owner of Boaters World further added, following the fire, that the boat was still in a drivable condition. I drove the boat back here. So uh, the, the boat was never that we had to cut the engines off. The boat was always on power. So uh, we cruised back, the emergency services joined us in a boat. Um, like I said, uh, all the passengers climbed off, but the emergency services um, and the fire guys were still um, cruised the boat back with me and we docked the boat and tied it up and then attended to everybody else on the side. Borders World says that this is the first time in its 20 years of existence that such an incident has occurred and that all safety checks were in place before the fire occurred. Khotato Mokhale. Eyewitness News.